Looks like the Huawei P30 won't have a Quad HD screen like the Mate 20 Pro did, for reasons we don't understand. LG is betting on innovation in 5G instead of rushing a foldable smartphone for this year. And Google seems to be ready to move on to a gesture-based navigation for Android Q. I'm Jaime Rivera, and literally the only way to get you this video was to pre-record it because I'll be flying all day towards San Francisco for Galaxy Unpacked. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for a good LG device, the G7 ThinQ is actually one we recommended. It's currently on a huge sale on B&H for nearly $340 off, beating it's like $430. Sure, the G8 is around the corner, we presume, so you can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about Oppo. The company continues teasing what to expect for its probable F11 smartphone, which we presume we'll see at MWC 2019. The thing about it is now the company is showing us that we might be getting a slider camera that's 32 megapixels to match the 48 megapixel camera at the back. This is gonna get really nice. I can't wait to see what it is. Now let's talk about Google. There is a version of Android Q that already got leaked. It's in the hands of XDA developers. And uh, well, we get to see that they plan to change navigation. Now, gesture-based navigation is not necessarily the best currently in the Pixel. So it's gonna get upgraded to Google's ideal, I guess, because if you watch the video from Michelle, I don't necessarily consider it to be an upgrade. It looks convoluted, but uh, follow the link in the description to learn more about it. Now let's go back to the conversation about LG as, uh, well, the company has pretty much just confirmed that we should not expect anything foldable from the company when it comes to mobile devices. And but PO-LED devices from LG have existed for a while, so it's not like if they don't have the technology. The thing about it is it seems that LG doesn't want to rush a product that is still a solution in search of a problem, and instead they want to focus their guns on 5G. I mean, we've already seen the leaks of the LG V50 5G, so that's pretty much, I guess, where everything is pointed. We'll see what we get. And finally, the hottest news, I guess we should call them. I, I don't remember the last time we had interesting to disappointing news, but let's talk about this. As we've got some trusted sources talking about the Huawei P30 and P30 Pro, uh, we are hearing for cameras and all this crazy design and all that's fantastic. The problem is when the sources tell us that we're getting a 1080p screen on this phone. I mean, I have no problem with 1080p necessarily, I just, I'm trying to understand, I mean, we already have the Mate 20 Pro finally with Quad HD, so in today's comments, let us know. What is your opinion on 1080p displays in 2019? Do you think that there's still space for them? Or do you think the company should just finally make the jump to Quad HD? Because in my case, I still feel that I don't see pixels at full HD, but uh, I feel that the trend should be adopted by everybody. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.